I'm Kevin Smeltz. I'm the Director of Instruction here at the Bishopsgate Golf Academy. And I want to talk briefly about our assessment process and creating a blueprint individualized for each student. Part of our assessment is a 3D analysis. So we use uh, Golf Biodynamics. Um, is the system created by Dr. Rob Neal and we can measure in 3D. So we can measure you know, many different areas and, and how the, the body's moving in, in a way that's very difficult to see with the naked eye or even on video. It's an important part and we can see how energy is transferred from one segment to the other. So how the energy is transferred from the pelvis into the upper torso, into the arm, into the club. So it's, it, we can see if there's a leak of energy or if the energy transfers where you want it to be as, as efficient and as powerful as a person can be. SAM Putt Lab is the analysis software that we use to analyze our students' putting. So we can get 28 parameters on each individual putt. Some of the things are, are quite hard to see with the naked eye. So whether someone's hitting down on a putt or hitting up on a putt, or the amount of loft they're delivering at impact. So the combination of the amount of loft they're delivering and the angle that they're hitting either up or down determines whether the ball has backspin, sort of neutral spin or topspin, and the thing that we don't want is backspin for sure. So there's many other parameters as, the, as far as the, the face, how it's rotating open or closed, but those are just a couple examples of some of the things that are really hard to see that we really want to make a great diagnosis of so we don't have to waste time guessing. You know, why guess when you can measure? TrackMan is also a key component of our assessment. While you can't sort of buy a game, you need to work hard and you need to get proper coaching and you need to have a proper plan, which is obviously why we're talking about this, you still need to have the right equipment to help you as best you can. So um, in using that, we use TrackMan. Uh, Chris Syrak is our club fitter and he uses TrackMan to analyze backspin, you know, some of the parameters of their angle of attack, um, the loft they're delivering at impact to build the best equipment that he can for each student. And, you know, what used to be a sort of state-of-the-art, cutting-edge technology when I first started with a big VHS camera and a VHS tape, uh, we obviously still use video, so it's uh, not so state-of-the-art these days when you've got 3D analysis and things like that, but obviously video because it gives the, the student a good visual and a, a good picture as to what they need to, to work on. In addition to Sam Putt Lab, we do our putting assessment. So we also want to test certain skills of putting, whether they can read the putt, whether they can start the putt online, whether they can hit the putt the proper distance, uh, those things. So for our putting assessment, we're comparing them to strokes gain, which is a sort of a parameter they use on the PGA Tour relative to the field. And it gives us a good barometer as to, no, number one, is their technique good with the Sam Putt Lab, but do they have the skills they need to make the amount of putts they need to make. What we also try to do is we try to make it realistic too. So let's say we have five four-foot putts, they're going to hit five eight-foot putts and five 14-foot putts. We, we don't put all five four-foot putts to the same hole. We don't put all five eight-foot putts to the same hole. They hit a four-foot putt on a hole, an eight-foot putt on a hole, and a 14-foot putt on a hole. So it's not the same putt over and over. So we try to make it randomized as much like real golf as possible. So the pitching combine, uh, we use TrackMan for our pitching combine and it gives shots from anywhere from 30 to 80 yards and they pick them randomly. So we try to make it as real life as possible. So you would never sit on a golf course and hit five shots 50 yards or six shots 72 yards. So we've randomized it so it might say 34 yards, 52 yards, 67 yards, 31 yards, 79 yards, some, something along those lines It spits it out randomly. Um, to give it a, more of a real life feel, we want to test them in their distance wages. And then our short game assessment, obviously we want to hit different shots. So we want to hit, uh, we've got a plug bunker shot in there, we've got a normal bunker shot, we've got a shot from a difficult lie, bump and run. We want to see what kind of skills they have and whether they can control the loft on the club face and know how the ball is going to react when it hits the green. Is it going to spin? Is it going to roll, etc.
Paul Doolin, our mental performance coach, uh, gives them a mental performance assessment too. So obviously for some players, we all have certain strengths in areas, certain weaknesses in others, which is the main point of this blueprint to identify the priorities that a person needs to work on. So uh, our mental performance assessment is, is a big key and a huge part of what we do. So now that we've collected all this data, now we've got to create this blueprint for the student. We've got to package it in a way that's easy for them to understand. We can't give them all this 3D data, all this TrackMan data, all this putting data. So what we've done is we've taken it into a radar graph. So it shows you where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are. And even though most of the students need to practice in all areas every day, we need to prioritize it to make their weaknesses obviously closer to the strengths or maybe it become one of their strengths one day. So then we've got to package it up in a nice package. It's easy for them to understand, not too much information. So we can follow this plan and give them a, a blueprint for their success.